looking for a recipe for a low carb stuffed bell pepper that's satiating and doesn't taste like ass keep watching Hey y'all, it's Deja aka Sunny D. I make cooking and other food related videos as well as videos about my health slash weight loss journey. If you enjoy this kind of content, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you can get notifications whenever there is a new update. And if you are interested, all of my socials will be in the description down below as well as popping up somewhere on the screen. These are the tools you're going to need. You're going to need a tablespoon or a serving spoon a knife, I suggest a large one for the bell peppers, a wooden spoon, a deep enough pot or pan, ground turkey, salt, any other choice of seasoning, mine is Tony Saturi's, more spice, um, some oil of your choice, I'm using olive oil, pepper, Four bell peppers, or however many you plan to use. Some garlic, I'm on the last bit of it, so I'm using five little ones. And riced cauliflower, as well as bacon and the cheese. You're also going to need a pan to put in the oven. It is large enough and deep enough to hold all of your stuffed peppers. So here, I'm gonna start cutting the peppers. There's two ways you can cut it. You can cut the top off and then take the seeds out that way. Today, I am cutting them in half lengthwise so that I can have about eight servings. I cut that in half and I'm just peeling out the top half of that where the seeds and the stem are. Here's a slower version so you can really see how I'm doing it. The easiest way to get out leftover seeds is to just flip the half of it over and tap it. And all of them usually come out. And here's just me doing the rest of the bell peppers. start cutting up my garlic I'm using five tiny cloves because that's all I had um, I found that it's easier to cut off the ends of the garlic first and then use your knife on its side to press down and all you got to do is just peel it off then you can chop it up as small as you can get it um, if you can mince it all the more power to you I didn't have the patience to mince it so I just cut it as small as I could also want to chop up four slices of bacon you can use more or less if you like and I'm going to turn my stove onto medium heat and preheat my oven to 350 degrees I have my pan on the stove it has heated up for about a minute or so and I'm going to put in a cap full of this olive oil so that it can heat up Next, I'm going to go ahead and put in my garlic, as well as some onions. I used about a fourth of an onion, a fourth to a third of an onion. And I'm going to constantly stir the onions and the garlic so that they are not burning. Then I'm going to go ahead and add in my sliced up bacon, and I'm going to keep tossing that around so that it can start to come apart because they're still layered together until the bacon is about halfway cooked. And I turn the heat up to about medium high and putting it on six and then I'm adding in my pound of ground turkey as well as Tony Saturi's more spice, some salt, pepper, and I use Adia's complete seasoning. 
then I went ahead and stirred that up so that the seasoning is completely mixed thoroughly. The lid to the pot and I went ahead and put that on there and put a timer for two minutes. So two minutes are up, I go ahead and take and I take a big serving spoon and a container and start spooning out some of that extra juice. Then I go ahead and add in my rice cauliflower. As you can see, there's one big chunk that did not want to come apart. Go ahead and put your lid back on for two minutes and then you can go ahead and easily break that up because it's thawed a little bit. I thought I was stuffing the bell peppers on camera. I forgot to hit record. So here's the bell peppers already stuffed and here I am just putting them in the oven. I'm putting them on the bottom row to make sure it won't be too toasted on the top. And you can barely see it, but I'm putting a timer on for 20 minutes and I'm gonna let it cook in the oven for 20 minutes. Same thing happened. I took the bell peppers out of the oven and I set up my camera, but I forgot to hit record. So um, I just put a healthy serving of shredded cheese on each one. And then I'm gonna put it back in the oven for two minutes while the oven's still on 350. And here is how they look after just two minutes in the oven at 350, getting that cheese all melted. It looks so freaking good. If you want, you can leave them in for about mm, five minutes total if you want the cheese to be like a little crisp. Ugh, it's so good. And here are the rest of the bell peppers. So I ended up letting them cool for about 30 minutes and I put the rest of them in the refrigerator for the rest of the week. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification below right next to the subscribe button so that you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Feel free to check out my other videos and if you made it this far in the video, I would like for you to go ahead and comment down below what you would actually eat these bell peppers with. What foods would you eat on the side along with this bell pepper? I'd probably have a bunch of broccoli and maybe a dinner roll <laughs> because I just really love bread. If I have time, I will cook up some broccoli or some mixed vegetables and put it on the side. Just make sure it's seasoned. Though. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and are going to try out this recipe. If you try this recipe, please tag me. My socials are down below. Post it on Instagram or Twitter. Sending positive vibes and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!